ho, ho, Merry Christmas, everybody! Chef Brian Sow here, not your typical chef, and this is a very special Christmas-themed episode of I Tried So You Don't Have To. And no, I am not related to Kerry King of Slayer. I am not worthy. I am not worthy. I am not worthy. Kentucky Fried Chicken, otherwise known as KFC. And you may be wondering to yourself, Chef Brian, why on earth are you eating KFC on Christmas? Well, for those of you who do not know, KFC is absolutely massive on Christmas Day in Japan. Nani? And even though I live in Queens, New York, and Japan has nothing to do with me, who gives a I'm about to dig in to a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Everybody knows the classic bucket of KFC, and when you really think about it, it is probably the worst vessel to package fried chicken into. They put this cover on it, it immediately traps the moisture. I'm sure all of you have seen when you take off the lid, there's all this content condensation that comes from the chicken. So you can be pretty damn sure almost nothing is going to be crispy by the time I reach the bottom of this bucket. I did choose the original versus the extra crispy. We are going to dive right in. And of course, the first piece of chicken that I'm going to have is a drumstick. The chicken is extremely tender, extremely moist. The spices and herbs that they put into the breading, which is supposed to be their so-called secret, is a great combination of flavors. The chicken really effortlessly comes off the bone, just as I expected the breading. Well, you can see how flimsy that is. All that hard work to coat it, to fry it onto special racks, prevent it from getting soggy, all gets fucked up in the delivery vehicle to the customer. I'm going to grab a second piece I'm going for the breast meat. There is this piece of skin here that I know is going to be absolutely delicious and crispy. Let's see, let's see how that crunches. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nothing like breaded fat, deep fried and more fat to be extra fat. I just finished the drumstick and it was really nice and moist, but the real test is, is the breast nice and moist and tender as well? Wow, this was super soft, super juicy. After taking the second bite into this breast meat, I know 100% this chicken meat was brined. I've mentioned this in the previous fried chicken sandwich episodes. Brining is the process of taking a protein, dipping it into a salted water solution. Sometimes you can mix that up with some spices, with some sugar. Brining imparts moisture and flavor. And when you're going to really deep fry or roast the hell out of something, protein can really benefit from brining brining, especially chicken products. Other than that one piece of uh, deep fried skin that I have, this piece is suffering the same fate as the drumstick. The breading is no longer crispy. It's kind of firing on all cylinders except for the crispy part. Whew. I am not used to wearing these kind of shirts. I am starting to get the meat sweats from all this damn fried meat. But we continue on. Let's try a piece of thigh meat, shall we? Grabbing this piece of thigh, you can clearly see the breading is no longer crispy. I knew this getting into this episode. You can get extra crispy, which is basically the same chicken which has been uh, dredged twice in the breading mixture. So just to explain it, you have fried chicken, you have it submerged in buttermilk. Buttermilk is typically used because it is slightly, slightly acidic, uh, but not acidic enough to toughen the meat so it will will tenderize. You take the chicken and dredge into the flour, get it coated really nicely. I could be slightly off about this, but I am pretty sure for the original chicken, they only dredge it once. But for extra crispy, buttermilk dredge back into buttermilk and dredge again. Basically, you have two layers of breading, then it's deep fried. That's how you get that extra breading that es at the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the. Okay, my arm is starting to get tired from holding this heavy ass bucket. And contrary to what you may have thought, no, I am not going to mukbang this entire fucking bucket of chicken. Let's take a bite into this thigh meat. To no fault of the chicken, 
the skin completely fell off with that bite. It is what it is. However, that chicken is super juicy, super moist, flavorful, and let me tell you why it's flavorful. Once people hear the dreaded three letters, M, S, G, <coughs> people start to freak out. Oh, Chinese restaurants put too much MSG. I'm gonna get a headache. Ah, oh, it's bad for you. It's gonna kill you. Well, MSG is naturally found in things like beef. It's also found in tomatoes. Take a look at your Doritos or your Pringles. I'm pretty sure it says monosodium glutamate. That's MSG, motherfucker. You've been eating MSG. And that is one of the ingredients in KFC's chicken that makes it fucking Awesome. Maybe you can't tell already, I fucking love MSG. Going back to this chicken, I should mention that it is pressure cook. A pressure cooker is basically a big pot with an airtight lid. It lets very little moisture out and it keeps in all the energy from that cooking process. And rather than going into the atmosphere, it gets stuck into that pot, makes the product much more tender, much quicker than conventional cooking. Now, before I grate it, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna put some Hot Ones last dab on this piece. Well, because I fucking, shit. <laughs> I fucking love hot sauce. And this particular sauce, though it's going to hurt, is extremely delicious. So cheers guys, here's to the last dab. Woo, feel the sweats coming on this one. A 16 piece bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken will now cost you $32.99 before tax. Holy shit, you used to look at fast food as a source of, well, cheap food. And while this is a lot of chicken, don't get me wrong, it's going to feed a family. I was definitely a little taken aback when they told me my total. So let's grade this one out of 10. What do I score this? One being when Slayer put out God Hates Us All and it sounded super new metal and not thrashy enough and people got super pissed off. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Or 10 being God Hates Us All and you actually really like the record a lot, so fuck y'all. And just the fact that the title is God Hates Us All and that is like, it's brutal. I give KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken, I give it a 7.5. Guys, I want all of you to have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this show. Doing this web series has been an amazing experience. I'm really having a lot of fun and I really look forward to the new year. Guys, I am Chef Brian Sound, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon. Why did I eat that whole bucket? I regret everything. Yeah. Shit.